Today's video, thanks to the folks over at FOCO, we're going to be having a look at the FOCO Justice League Aquaman Limited Edition Bobblehead. FOCO was nice enough to send me the Aquaman, as well as the Superman and the Dark Knight Returns Batman that we've looked at in previous videos. Before we do anything else, why don't we figure out how tall Aquaman stands. We'll put the tape measure right to the top of his head. And holding it, this bauble of Aquaman stands 8.5 inches in height. In centimeters, that works out to be 21.5 centimeters. It would be at this point of this review where I would show you how to install, how to put together Aquaman with his display base. This is actually different than the Superman and the Batman that we've already had a look at in the fact that Aquaman already comes assembled to his base. You don't have to put anything together for him. He's finished immediately when you get him out of the box. Doing a comparison between this one and the Superman that we've already had a look at being that they are both from Justice League. Here are the two bobbleheads side by side. Just move this one over a little bit. And Superman right next door. I guess it would also be safe to say that the characters are with display bases that are specific to the character. Superman comes atop of the monument, of, of the Superman monument, and Aquaman stands atop of a series of tidal waves. Being that he also doesn't require any sort of assembly, he feels a little bit more secure and stable than Superman did because Superman only was standing on his one foot. Um, I guess the only other thing he comes included with is his trident, which does sit a little loose in his hand. It's only because the hand is a little bit more open than the rod that they've got the trident you know, on. So as a result, it sort of sits loose when it's in his hand. I guess you can bring it as far forward as you can and providing that you're not just going to be pushing it back and forth or tilting the bobblehead, you shouldn't have any issues with the trident moving around on you. Although it is, like I said, a little on the loose side. The only other assembly I suppose I did was I took the foam piece, because all of these pieces do have foam uh, right underneath their heads. It's just to prevent the bobblehead from moving around welds in the packaging and damaging in the process. So I just took the foam off and that's pretty much all that was required. Display base looks neat. Um, again, you've got these sort of tidal waves, sort of waves happening here. They're all done in a translucent blue plastic, which almost seems to look as if I've lit up something. I've turned on a battery compartment and I've illuminated the base. I assure you, nothing has been done to this base, but it does almost look like it's lighting up. If we tilt it upside, or actually before we tilt it upside down, you've got the Justice League logos featured all around the bottom base area. Now this is hand painted. Um, there is a little bit of like blue and like the gold and stuff that have overlapped one another, especially like here where you can see like the paint is a little on the messy side. But again, it's not too, too bad being that this is a handcrafted piece. We tilt it upside down and we've got the FOCO bottom here, the labeling here indicating that it is from FOCO. And you've got four rubberized feet on the underside to prevent any scratching on surfaces. For Aquaman's head sculpt, it's actually not bad. I think it looks a little bit more like Jason Momoa than the Superman look like Henry Cavill. They've even gone right as far as giving him that little scar that's in his eyebrow. It almost looks like he's got a little bit of a smirk happening there as well. Now he does have his battle armor on here, a series of scales and different texturings here, but they've done a pretty good job of painting that. I'm thinking that the base coat was probably the green, and much like they've done with other renditions of Aquaman, um, Foco has simply just painted like a dry brush of gold over top of it just to accent the areas of this scaling. You can see more of it apparent in the knee area as you can see like the little brush marks here of the gold added to it. I like the pose. I, I do like the pose of this particular Aquaman where he's standing atop of the water and the additional froth that they've got to the top of the water too adds a little bit of extra oomph to it. It is a bobblehead, so again, being very careful, you can see there's the spring on the inside attaching the neck to the inner 
uh, cavity of Aquaman's head. The bobbling action does work. You don't want to be overly aggressive shaking it because, of course, it's going to cause damage to it. Um, the piece doesn't feel like it potentially could be plastic, although it does feel like it's a little bit of a different material than the Dark Knight Returns. I'm assuming it's probably the exact same material that they use for all of their bobbleheads. Here's a back look at the figure. It's interesting that the belt area here seems like it's a different color than the rest of the outfit or the rest of the gold that they've added to the outfit. It's also got that same A featured on the front. Um, I, I like it. Like I said, he's got the he's got a good head sculpt. He's got some paint added, some highlights added into his hair area there. The hair has just enough clearance or a sufficient amount of clearance that the bobbling action, the hair doesn't interfere with that. You can move the head back and forth and there's enough gap right there that the head doesn't want to shift around for you. Um, looking online and looking on Foco's website, like I had mentioned with the Superman review, They've done a bunch of Justice League, but they've only, as far as I know, done Aquaman, they've done Superman, and they've done Flash. Oh, and they I think they've also done Batman. I think the only one that they haven't, the only two that they haven't done are a Wonder Woman and a Flash. I certainly would hope, though, if they're going to do a Superman that we've already looked at, an Aquaman, that they're at least going to finish off the rest of the League, and we're going to get all the members of the League. Um, the other things, of course, that they've produced are horror-related properties, and they've also done WWE. So really, there's a lot of cool stuff that you can check out over on their website. And again, it's www.foco.com. Again, I want to thank the folks over at Foco for making these reviews possible. They were nice enough to send three bobbleheads my way. And we've looked at them over the last three videos. Of the three, I think my favorite is the Dark Knight Returns Batman. There's a lot more complexity to his display base. And for the fact that there are several different layers that you have the moon behind him as well. It just kind of adds a little extra oomph to the bobble head. Of the two that we looked at from the Justice League, I think that the likeness here on Jason Momoa is closer to the likeness on the Henry Cavill Superman. This one's got some nice additional golds, and I love the display base in which it's got the waves, and it almost looks like it is lighting up. And I assure you, there's nothing lighting up on the display base here. If you guys want to check out more from FOCO, you can head over to www.foco, which I probably mentioned a lot over these videos, foco.com. Today we were having a look at the Justice League. This was the limited edition Aquaman bobblehead. If you guys haven't had a chance to hit that little subscribe button down below, make sure you do so. Certainly more videos, more videos will be coming your way, so stay tuned for those. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.